Hey there, YouTubers. This is RPG Master 95 with Liquid Divide. Yeah, we're gonna play us some Wrecketeer today. Yeah, last time we went into a dungeon and got some fat loot, as the Guildmaster called it. Heck yeah, learned how to buy stuff <laughs> off of customers. Looks like uh, it's the end of day three. Can we just open up shop for a couple more times to? Yeah, we can. I was gonna try to throw some of our more expensive stuff up here real quick, like a yeah. chocolate bar probably belongs up in the window. Oh, I can talk to her about stuff. That's interesting. Maybe we should... Oh, and we have some walnut bread, too. Maybe we should get more tutorials? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's more tutorials. She had some stuff like the condition of the store. Yeah. Oh, our merchant level. Ooh, I, uh... uh... This level, customers may sell items to you. Oh, so that's because okay. we got to level two. Okay, got it. Then at this level, Take customers orders. give you general order you must fulfill. Interesting. Okay. So they'll, like, request items, I guess. More items, the fusion rank, all sorts of stuff. Oh, wow, yeah, it goes... Holy cow, we have a lot of <coughs> levels to gain. I do, next time we leave the shop, want to ask the Guildmaster about unidentified items. Yeah, that's true. That's probably We need idea. to know what those are. We do. Uh, I want to yep. use the shelf. There we go. Because I have a sword I can throw out there. All right, let's see uh, what we can sell. Capitalism ho! Yes. Come on into Rossetti shop. Welcome. I'm on an errand today, isn't that cool? That's great. Uh, how about... Oh, and I did find out we probably want to actually sell them. Yeah, we want to try and get things sold on the first try. Yeah, so I'm going to sell it for 115. Yeah. She's a kid. Yeah, she's a kid. Is that good for you? Ooh, a just Thank combo. You, Miss Rossetti. Cool. Walnut bread for 115 picks. Wow, there's a lot of people in our store. Oh, oh, it's the same girl. She's bipolar. Oh. Oh, I'm running an air wind. <laughs> now she has a sweet tooth. Yeah. So that was like at one... Yeah, I think 15% is about a child's number. Uh-oh. That's a lot. That's a loot. Wow. Uh, it's a loot. 550, maybe? That fat loot. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Dude, we are hopping on day three. Yeah, we are. We're very busy. Hey! Oh, Mr. Guildmaster. Oh, oh, working hard, Wreckets? Indeed. Uh, how about... He's a businessman. He can pay 122 as far as percentage Was goes. it 130 was the base? Is that what it was? I forgot. Uh, no, 130 is so like the... Yeah, so do 125. Okay. I yeah. mean, he he runs his own business. He should be able to respect us. Put it at 625. <laughs> well, that seems fair enough. Ooh, a just combo. We're doing good. Look at that experience. Sweet! Yay! I sold egg toast! We've got our little adventure Making guy. Making toast! Oh, welcome to Ricketts here. No, I think this might sell how much. Hmm. I think this guy can afford quite a bit too, but we'll just yeah, sell it at 25. Yeah, he can. He's a businessman. Like 25? Yeah. yeah. I'll try it with 125. How about this? That's a great deal. Oh, perfect again. Wow. Thank you. Come again. I sold a candy apple for lots Heck of yeah. money. Wow, there's so many people. Mommy asked me to sell this. Oh, we're buying now. Oh, cool. Oh, this is all new, though. Right? Uh, so we want to buy it for about... Ah, uh, kid's going to be cheap, so buy it 75, for... 75, maybe? So I think, well, yeah, that's right. That's right. 80, yeah, 80 yeah. probably. 80, 80. Yeah, there you go. Because oh, then if we mark it up and sell it for 115, we're making 35% profit. Yeah, let's let's make it at 185. Oh, you are too nice to children. The, dude, she got mad at dude, the candy I bar. Dude, I love all people for a living. <laughs> Come on. That's great. Just combo plus eight. I did nice. good. She liked it. All right, cool. And I bought a thankful statue that we can sell now. Hi, what can I get you? Uh, what, you have this? I mean, of course you have this. How much? Mmm, he's poor too. Yeah, I think 20. he's been able to do that, yeah. though. Sweet. No beating you, wreck it. Wow. See, we've almost gone up a whole level in just one That's awesome. time frame. That was way better than what we were doing. Heck yeah. Alright, cool. So let's just set up shop here real quick for the next day. Because we've got some cool stuff, right? We, we bought this do. thankful statue thing. I was going to say, oh. can you run shop on the last slot? Can I what? 
Can we? Is shop available for all four time periods of the day? Uh, no, I don't think I can leave at night. Can I? Maybe I can. Well, no, you can. No. Wait. Go back. Don't actually leave. Uh, if you return now, no time will pass. Okay. I'll go back. Okay. Cool. Cool. I was gonna say, yeah, we may as well just make some more loot. Oh yeah. Okay. Why not? I thought you wanted to go exploring. Eh. We only have three thousand four hundred. We started with four thousand picks at the start of this day. I thought. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, well, let's see. A couple real days ago. Well, I, I, when we loaded, it told us we had yeah four thousand. So we actually lost money what? somehow. How did we do that? Wait, what? I don't know how. All right. Maybe, oh, we bought that thankful statue, and it was like a thousand dollars. It was okay, expensive. Okay, I, I guess so. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's let's go ahead and open. Yeah. Yeah. More money. We need to sell more stuff. Yeah, we're still poor. Come on, people, come in. Welcome. Yeah, this is for sale, right? Indeed. It's only 260 picks. <laughs> so that seems about right. Okay. I wonder who's going to be okay with more than 30%. I don't know. I'm guessing it's probably this guy, but I don't know. Well, he said that seems about right. He did. But we only got no, a two-point bonus. the wife asked me to pick this up a sword. <laughs> really? It's, it works so good on the vegetables, don't you know? Yeah, there you go. So, do we nothing like shish kebab and cabbage with a worn sword. Let's go 260. How about 260 picks? Yeah, I'll take that. Hmm. All right. Cool. Oh, hi there, Guildmaster. Oh, ho, ho, working hard, Ricketts. I'll take this, please. Okay, that'll be uh, um. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go any above. Two thousand eighty picks. Well, that seems fair, young lady. Awesome. Now we're actually making money. Mm, quite no a more bit of money. on this bread crop. We are one experience away from level, I think. All right, day three. We sold a ton of stuff. We bought a yeah. couple things. Oh, and we bought a candy apple. That uh -huh, was expensive. Uh -huh. I thought we sold that. I got confused. So we did make $5,000 today, apparently, and we exceeded expectations. Beautiful. That all seems good. Day four. All right, well, let's save Hi again. Oh. Just because. I'm going to save real fast. Why not? Yeah. We are save junkies. All right. Cool. So we have some stuff. Do we have anything else that we can sell? We got slimes is all we've got now, I guess. <laughs> some slime fluid. Yeah, these aren't all that great. So let's... Uh, how much are you? Uh, yeah, base price. Yeah, we can make some money off that. This one's eh. 200. 400. Yeah. You win. Yeah. You're going in the window, Rusty Dagger. Alright, so do we just want to sell? Because we still have stuff. I mean, we could sell, or we could go to a dungeon and get more. Or uh, buy things. Uh, let's go out into town. Uh, let's find out about unidentified items. Oh, right. We wanted to do that. Oh, and then okay. since leaving, why is the Adventures Guild? Apparently, it's not open in the morning. I guess we can go to the chapel. Huh? We can actually go to all these places while we're out. So right, right, the right, chapel's right. Yeah. flashing, so that makes me think there's something to do yeah, in the town, in town square. square. Let's check them out. All right, chapel first. Say, Tyr, you came from a finance company, right? Oi! What on earth? Uh, yes, that is right. I work for Term of Finance. So, you're employed by them, right? What's it like? Um, no, that is not quite accurate. I was contracted to term to another organization. Thus, I am not really an employee per se. So, you're just contracted? I'm surprised, you seem so... It is not that surprising. Almost all fairies in human society belong to a fairy specific contract agency. There are, of course, a few free agent fairies out there as well, and... So that's how it works. Uh, yes. To tell the truth, it can be difficult for fairies to find employment in human society. So the agencies were founded an age ago. In order to help facilitate fairy livelihoods. That's amazing! Quite. Okay, well that was helpful. Town yeah. Square! <laughs> Some kind of event, anyway. Hmm, I love being able to relax in the plaza like this. You never seem to have trouble relaxing even when we are not in the plaza. <laughs> well, it's healthy, right? <laughs> uh, to an extent? <laughs> Sometimes, sure. Alright, Merchant Guild, yeah. here we come. 
All right, let's talk to Mr. Guildmaster about unknown, unknown items. Ooh, and fusion. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go dungeon diving, you'll find a lot of stuff which you won't be able to identify at first. In particular, I'll bet my hat you'll find a lot of what are commonly called mystery ingredients by the adventurers. At first, you'll probably be tearing your hair out over all the junk you keep finding in those places, but as your merchant level goes up, you'll be able to sort out the stuff you find and pick the best materials and whatnot from the lot. Oh, if you manage to get out of those death traps safely, you'll have time to identify everything safely. Oh, so we just get to identify. That means you won't know what you're carrying until you leave, though. Huh, interesting. Okay, fair enough. So we just get to identify it as soon as we leave. Yeah. That's good to know. One last tutorial tidbit. <clears throat> yes. Once a few merchant levels are under your belt, you'll be able to fuse items here at the guild hall. There's quite a few items you can only get by using fusion, so I'd get real familiar with that furnace if I were you. Hmm. Remember, what you put in affects what you get out of fusion. If you put in some materials of, say, plus two quality, you'll get an item of similar quality as the result. Huh. Okay. Keep an eye on what you're fusing, too. You don't want to waste good materials on some mediocre thing you can just buy somewhere. Hmm. Another thing to keep in mind, it can be real tempting to keep your best quality items to yourself for personal use, but your customers know quality goods when they see them. And you'll learn a lot of respect if you sell top shelf merchandise. There's a couple of stages to what you can pull off with fusion, as you pick up some merchant levels, so experiment, and you'll be sure to come back here often to see what you can make. Great. Alright, do you have anything else we can no. buy? Uh, yeah, we it's been a minute. Oh yeah, we can buy longsword. We can buy tier Dude, 2 stuff. Dude, let's upgrade. Let's get, yes. Let's get the good stuff. Let's spend everything. You think? Well, we need to have uh, $10,000 by the end of... The eighth, I think, was the day yeah, that we were we got, due. We got like what twelve sessions. I mean, we got tons of selling sessions. Okay, sure. We'll buy a long sword, crafters knife. Oh, they only have one. Magician staff, sure. Buy one of all the top tier two stuff that we can. Oh yeah. Um, that's Wind pretty breaker. much it. Eh, we don't need that. Cloth robes, all right. One chest piece. The iron armor Heck hasn't yeah. sold yet. We have some, but it hasn't sold yet. Ah. Uh. Uh, I don't know if, maybe it's because... You know what, keep $1,100. I was gonna say, we're, we may need to buy stuff from yeah, people. So you never know. Let's do, hang on to some. Alright, cool. Might get some sweet statue. Let's go back and open up the shop. So that, that passed a, a square, right? Yeah. Yep, okay. That does. So let's see, how much is that guy worth? A thousand... Well, 140? I thought it was worth way more than that. You're not that shiny. <laughs> uh, I think the crafter's knife is worth quite a bit. I was going to say, all this should go in the window. Alright, the Iron Spear, definitely. And the Rusty Dagger is not as good as, say, the Crafter's Knife. Ew. Tree Seed Necklace is still yeah, worth a thousand. Good. That guy's a thousand nine hundred. yeah. Get rid of that bread. We, have... we can take bread into the dungeon. There's no reason <laughs> to sell bread here. That's true, but the We're little kids... We're not a bakery. We're a freaking <laughs> sick loot But the store. little kids like it. The little kids like the bread. They can buy weapons and <laughs> kill each other. Huh, huh. You're a great parent, I can tell. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with the longsword, I guess, here. Longsword. The slimes are... Well, that's the best slime, so I'll replace it last. Let's get rid of this worn sword with a... Yeah, magician staff. staff. Sweet. Necklace. Uh, How much is the unthankful worth? A hundred, I think, is all. Uh -huh. Not much. Yeah, 140. Yeah. So I think we're okay with what we've got for now. Let's go with that. Let's see what happens. We're opening shop. Woo -hoo. Capitalism ho! Let's do this. <laughs> Welcome. Can I help you with anything? Ah, uh, yes. This'll do. Oh. Huh. Uh, that'll be... Yeah. Yeah, it seems fair for Grandpa. Yeah, 2,170, please. Oh, is it really that expensive? Uh, of course oh, not. Oh, my. It's closer I, uh, to, uh, 2080? You know, I just, uh... Hmm, it's reasonable. Oh, he didn't like to pay that much. Mm. But I sold it for lots of money. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, little girls. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy asked me to sell this! Oh wow, and it's expensive. A yam? 
Good thing we just made some money. 80? 1600? Yeah, yeah. Okay, 1600. How's that sound? Oi, that's great, thank you. Yay, I got a baked yam! Awesome! Welcome. <laughs> Looking for something special? Yes, this is for sale, right? Absolutely. Uh, it's for, you know, 1,830 picks? Yeah, I'll say that. It's that mu- wait, what? What? Ah, oh, dang it. The man is not a man today. He's not. Uh, wow. He's a whiny child. Uh, 1,750? Hmm, that seems right. Hmm. Next time we'll shank you with it if you don't want our first <laughs> offer. Wow. Oh, hi, Louie. Huh. It's tight. What an opening line for a bartering session. He's... yeah, he is... he's very poor. <laughs> Let's give him 15. 231? Like the kids? Yeah. Still, that'd be like going out to eat and telling your waitress, By the way, I don't have a lot of money today. Just so you're aware. Yeah, that, that's... we can't give you a tip. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, we got a little bit of a bonus for that. Alright. Hmm. And ah. Hi there. Yeah, could I get this, please? As long as you're willing to pay for it. Uh, yeah, I'll do the. Uh, yeah, let's see if he's. Uh, I think he's gonna be. He called the bank. He found <laughs> out that he has the money. Ah, uh, okay. A thousand eight hundred thirty picks. He has picks? the money. Dang it! Oh my gosh! Man, I feel take like out getting that gouged. second mortgage and start paying real prices, people. About a thousand seven hundred sixty, please. Hmm. I'm not doing so good with the second tier stuff. Yeah. It seems like. Well, we did sell things. We sold things. Boy, well, you seem more or less used to the basics of running an item shop. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah, there is one other matter, however, you cannot always be certain that a customer will know what they want when they come in. What do you mean? They may come in thinking, what should I make for dinner? what would be a good weapon, and so forth. You will not be quite sure what exactly they wish to purchase when they come through the door. In such a case, we must provide them with advice to help them decide. Oh, great. Uh, wait, how can I do...? Many customers will simply give up if they do not find something suitable for their needs on our counters. Others, however, will realize that we may have reserve stock and will inquire as to whether or not we have something they seek. That is when you may suggest an item you think they would like. In a sense, it is the ultimate chance to show your skill as an item shopkeeper. If you know what someone desires, you will very likely impress them and cause them to return. No pressure then, none at all. Yeah, let's, uh, no. No, we're not gonna... Didn't we learn we can skip tutorials? <laughs> <laughs> no, I told you two we are done with tutorials. It is no different than a normal sale, really. Hence, we don't need this tutorial. You must choose the item you sell yourself. Let us begin. Oh, oh. good. KK, I'm scared. Welcome. I would like a sword. Uh, so, anything is okay as long as it's a sword? Ultimately, you must pick something the person would like. By the way, if I may give you a little advice, if you sell weapons and armor to your adventurer friend, they'll equip the items you sell. Oh, Ooh, sweet. Nice. Meaning, of course, that if you sell items to them that we do not need, to lend them any items at the start of a dungeon excursion, and we'll be able to bring back more items for our own use. True. Even if an adventurer must retreat while in a dungeon, the equipment is not lost since it's in their possession. So selling better equipment to our adventuring friends is a good idea. Even if you must undersell them a little and listen to me over-explain it. <laughs> Accessories work the same way. Think about who you sell, what to, and what effect it may have on their performance. Well, I hope I can keep track of all of this. Uh, I'm pretty, you're pretty thorough. I if you look at the details of an item when selling to one of our adventuring friends, you can also check what that person currently has. Nice. Now then, we should continue. Affirmatification! I would like a sword, please! Mmm. Ooh, a steel sword. You want this. Heck yeah. Yes, excellent. The rest is like a normal sale. Well, once again, let us put the whole thing in. No! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> RPG Master 95 can only take so much. Oh, as for an item, sell it to me. Yeah. 
<laughs> Alright, we'll sell this. <laughs> Hi! Welcome to Racketeer! Ding! I want ding! <laughs> A weapon. Steel sword. How about something like this? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do the sell thing. It's your lucky day. It's only 3,900! Oh, no, no. Too much. Okay. Uh, 3,000... You know what? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Wait, driver away. Driver away. Driver away. I'm gonna Do fail it. a tutorial. Uh, okay. How about this? Why? <laughs> could you bow a little? Can you go higher? I can. No, no. Too high. That will, that will make me angry. Oh, now we have to start over. Thanks. <laughs> Do we? It just starts over. Oh, yes. My. See what you've done to us? Uh, all right. Steel sword. It's a sword. You know what? It's fake. It's not real. Give it to her for free. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to oh, an darn press. you, practical gamer. <laughs> Thank you so much. What's the Yay! point of doing a let's play if we can't <laughs> monkey? Oh, Anywho. You know, we could do that. We'll do it on the next tutorial. I'm sure there's more. Oh, gosh. No. <laughs> we'll no. Once more. We're doing it once more. We can do it right now. Why? Because, you know, we didn't do good enough the first time. I would like I... a weapon. However, if you want a steel sword, how much is it? Can it's free. free? Nope, it's one. It's one. Uh, that's wrong. <laughs> you... Uh... <laughs> that? <laughs> uh. Alright, we'll, we'll try again. I'm sorry. <coughs> wow. Alright, this time we'll give you a reasonable price. Oh, how about this one? Oh, yeah, good. I don't have that's to... lovely. Okay. Okay. Have that. Yeah. Excellent price. Thank you. Come again. That's on the long sword. Alright, you're ready. <laughs> you ever wish to practice? Just nope, I don't. Ask. Don't, don't. I got enough practice. <laughs> All right, cool. At least her tutorials don't burn daylight. There is that. Do we have stuff to sell still? That's nope. We decent? are going to the dungeon. Ah, we have Can a baked still... yam. Oh, that's true. We do have a baked yam. I think it's too late to go to the dungeon. Is the problem? Is it? I think because so. we couldn't go in the first quadrant. Well, we still have a rusty dagger, and then this thing can go here. Then... It uses up two quadrants, so I think we can go now. I think so? I don't think we can go this late. I think we can go this late. Well, we'll try, I suppose. Yeah, we're gonna try it. Mm. Nope, the Adventurer's Guild is well, closed. Well, hang on, but why is it closed? Because uh, it was the closed pub. this morning. It, it might be, we might be able to go to the pub. Okay, fair enough, but still oh, you click know on. What? You know see why? if anything happens when you click on. It's because it's uh, Sunday. What? It's, it's a Sunday. Today's the 4th, and that's, that's a Sunday on the calendar. So you can't kill things on a Sunday. Got it. Well, the Adventurer's Guild is closed on Sundays, apparently. But there might be somebody at the pub who's yeah, seedy go enough to, to go. We'll go to the chapel first, because there's an event. Guys! Yo! Hi there, Louis! You are actually in the chapel. I am, uh, struck dumb. Well, even I gotta be a little faithful. Every now and then. As I said, struck dumb. I'm surprised, too. Yeah, I was praying for heaven to provide me with lunch. Uh, somehow I feel as though that is not the main purpose of a chapel. Uh, you think so? Probably not, Louis. Well, let's see what's happening at the market, just because. Hmm. <laughs> is something wrong, ma'am? <laughs> I was just wondering what to do for dinner tonight. Oh, come to Wreckage here, we have a baked yam! For some reason, the only thing that comes to mind is what I usually make, and my husband's sick of it, and he doesn't talk to me like he used to. Well, well, what do you usually make, then? Well, I make the pumpkin gratin, sheep gratin, shark gratin. <laughs> I, I think I see the problem. <laughs> is that why he doesn't love me? Oi, if I may interject, if you like gratin so much, why not try a stew? They are somewhat similar. I also find pumpkin stew irresistible, but that is uh, beside the point. <laughs> pumpkin stew? That's a wonderful idea. I'll try it tonight. I'm glad we could help. Stop by Reketeer to buy pumpkins. Sometime. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, you two, for the flavor text. <laughs> now, to make stew for the next month. Uh... <laughs> that's... That's not what it, quite what I had in mind. <laughs> well, that's oh, what she's doing. Do these guys have anything worth buying? Ooh, cloth capes. We can get mufflers for our cars. We can't. Oh, will of the... Wow. Wow. Shrug off physical blows, but it can break. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there's $4,000 item that can break. That's just terrible. I don't know what these books are for, but 
Interesting. Yeah. And then, you know, there's stuff. Food. All right. Good enough. We don't Go to the buy pub. This. Pub it is. Get a brewski. Hmm. They're children. I don't think they can get them. Oi! What is it? Uh, Satyr? Is, <laughs> uh, is alcohol yummy? Oi! I only tried it once before myself. Really? Wow, you're so grown up, Tyr. I hated it. It's tank of barrels. Nothing like the sweetness of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> barrels? Yeah, typically most alcoholic beverages are left to age in barrels, so the drink had a strong wood smell, and it was not dissimilar to attempting to drink a tree. Uh, okay, that doesn't sound yummy at all. <laughs> to be honest, the popularity of the substance baffles me. It always sells well, so stocking is always a good way to make some money, but... But barrels! <laughs> barrels. Alright, barrels are bad. <laughs> well, we can't go adventuring, so... Uh, hey, seems... let's open shop! It seems like we just wasted uh, some daylight. Ah, we got flavor text. We did get flavor text. Yay, flavor. Alright, we can sell for one more block of time. Do it. Open the store, here we go. Capitalism Welcome people. to Rectier. Welcome. Can I help you with anything? Yes, I'd like to buy some food because my wife makes the same crap every night. Uh, I have a baked yam. You want that, right? Hmm, that'll do. How about 2,500 for uh, it? Uh, 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 128 on this guy. 128? Yeah. Okay, 2,560. Yes, do I look like a... wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I thought I should have gone with 25. Hmm, even that's seeming 2,500? I can't oh. buy at that price. Really? Wow. Ah. Do I have no talent? No, he just... he's wow. the most unpredictable... Welcome! Ah, uh, I've been looking for that hat! A hat! A hat. Uh, I don't a hat. believe I have one. Yes! I'd like a hat! Uh, how about a raincoat instead? <laughs> it's almost uh, like a hat. Uh, that's not what I want at all. Uh, I screwed up, didn't I? I don't have hats. Welcome to Rocketeer. Um, that's what I was looking for. I thought I wanted a hat, but I just want yam. Yam, yam, yam. Uh, how about 2,500? Maybe? Oh no, that drove off the other guy. 2,400? Yeah. How's that sound? <laughs> this was good shopping! Yay! And hey, they won't have a suit the for tonight. Thing. Fantastic, but that's the only thing we sold. Oh boy. Wow. Good night, Liquid. <laughs> we, we didn't do so well today, but we exceeded expectations. That's the important part. Alright, well, uh, yeah, I think hey, we'll... Hey, and it's a new day! Yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll save here, and, uh... Take a break real quick. We'll come back we'll do for that. day five. Chips and salsa, and we'll be back with RPG Master 95. And Liquid Divide. Capitalism ho! <laughs>